Okay, so in this part now I'm going to show you a complete build from start to finish. But before we do that, here is that report that I showed a moment ago. So this is the report distributed to Dropbox, and this is what the report looks like in the ClickSense app. So a best practice, first of all, is formatting your ClickSense sheet to accommodate the output that you desire. In this case, I like the eight and a half by 11 portrait output. So I adjust my settings and I'm going to show you that in a moment, but that's an important best practice to understand is when you're laying out your objects, your charts, your titles to adjust them appropriately. Another tip is that when you are designing your report, you can always export your sheets. And I mentioned earlier that we have other ways of exporting and distributing through the client. You have an option here to download sheet as PDF. By doing that, you can select your paper size here, 11 by eight and a half, select portrait and scale in this case, fit to page. When this generates, it'll create a PDF document, which is generated by the engine, similar to the way application automation will do. So you'll get an idea of what it looks like before you actually go through the build process within your workflow. And there's your PDF document. So that's what it's going to look like once it's distributed. Okay, so you have an option there. And the other piece that I mentioned earlier is that you can take your objects and you can click on share. If you select image, you have the ability to send to a recipient's email as well. And then there's also the ability to subscribe to a sheet. And by subscribing to a sheet, you will get this output sent to you via email. And you also can add users that are part of a public sheet that are part of this particular space as well. So you can distribute to them. So keep those options in mind. Again, the reason I bring this up is I don't want others to just think that we only distribute report content with application automation, because that is not the case. Again, application automation with the built-in report service connectors allows you to add that report distribution and delivery for a variety of different use cases to your business processes. Okay, now that those tips and tricks have been sent, let's create our new sheet. So what I'm gonna do is click on edit sheet and we are in an example here, just to show you the uh, name of the report, it's called RS Report Example. So this is a ClickSense app. We're gonna go to sheets. I'm gonna create a new sheet. I'm gonna drag it and we're gonna rename the sheet RS Demo Report. And now we're going to edit the sheet. Now, as part of that best practice, pay attention to where my mouse cursor is. The properties of the sheet, grid spacing is wide, sheet size will be custom. Now the width in pixels, you can look it up, but the actual size of an eight and a half by 11 in portrait is about uh, 2480 wide and height is about 3500 wide. Okay, that will give you the structure or the format or the layout that you need for your particular uh, objects that will be formatted in that eight and a half by 11 portrait. Now to streamline a couple of things here, instead of creating charts and adding data, all that stuff's in this, I created some master item visualizations that are basically pre-canned chart objects that have already been configured so I can just lay them out because this is what you really wanna see, the quick layout and then the distribution. So I have a title, I'm just going to drag that here and then I'm going to adjust these appropriately. Let's grab our logo. Now keep in mind, you have the full width of the page. And now I'm going to grab my chart object. So let's do a network chart and let's grab the network title or the information regarding that chart. Okay, so that's the layout that we have. I'm not gonna continue with it all because you kind of get the idea. Um, I could actually go in to the settings of the sheet and it'll support the styling here. So if we wanted uh, to add a logo in the title or change the colors, Let's change that color to a little bit different. And there is your sheet. Now, as I mentioned, we can export this as a PDF. 
Here I'm changing the paper size and the portrait. Okay, there's our report. I'm happy with it. Now we're done. So once you design the layout and the formatting of your report, this is going to be available to click Application Automation. So now we're going to go to click Application Automation and I'm going to create a new automation. Uh, we'll start from a blank automation template. We'll call this one RS Report Example 2. And now we have our canvas. I'm going to go to my Click Reporting Service Blocks. And then the first thing we need to do is create report. My app ID, we're going to do a lookup. And I'm going to search for RS. And there is the RS report example. That was the name of the app that we edited in. Now the report name, it says RS report example. I'm going to make it dynamic. So I'm going to add a formula. So let's put a dash there and then click add formula, date functions. And we're going to select date the time and date we're just going to use now and the output format is going to be d m y dash s that'll give me day month year seconds and click save now for sheets you can say all the sheets that are in there and it'll create a page per sheet but in this case we're just going to select custom then we're going to select add sheet to report and now we're going to do a lookup on those sheets And there are the sheets that are available. I think we call this RS Demo Report. Yes, we did. And then we're going to Generate Report. Now I'm going to go back to my list of blocks and I'm going to look for what's called Copy File. And then the source file in this case is going to be the output of Generate Report. And then the destination connector, you could have a number of different connections to either SFTP or FTP or other storage. In this case, just Dropbox. Now my connections have already been set up. I'm going to select this connection because this is the one I'm using for the demonstration. Settings, we're just going to leave the on error for stop. And then the destination file path, as you can see here, if I go back, slash report. report and then we want this to be dynamic so what we're going to do is use the output that has been generated from the report and we want to use the path and then we click Save so now when this runs it'll use the path and the output and create a dynamic name for our report so let's click run and you can monitor these steps, but it's more fun just to watch this refresh. So we'll stay in our Dropbox until we see the actual PDF pop up. And there it is, RS report example, 12821.40. We click that, and there is our report. So other than just formatting and spacing the objects appropriately, you now have a nice operational report utilizing the insights collected within your ClickSense app. Okay, so the next part, I'm gonna go through a little bit more advanced use case where we're going to now distribute or burst a particular report based off of a particular category or region and send it to a appropriate distribution list. Okay guys, so you're gonna be really excited when you see the resulting output of the next click application automation and report service demonstration. In summary, we're bursting reports from different regions to the different managers. And each report is multi-page that contains a summary for that region, as well as the individual managers that are in that region and their performance stats. So multi-page PDF output bursted. We're writing them to cloud storage, in this case Dropbox, and we're also distributing them via email with attachments. So here we have one for Spain, and then here we have one for Germany, Japan, Nordic, UK, 
and USA. And you can see the outputs here. So that's the resulting output, similar to what I showed you earlier. Now, here is the Click application automation that is using a combination of Click Cloud services connectors and Click reporting connectors, as well as some of the other flow control, send mail connectors, conditional connectors, etc. So to walk you through this, we have our start block. We're just going to run in manual mode. Then we're going to use list values of field, and we're going to connect to the sales and margin app. So just to correlate the two together, I have an app here. And we have two sheets that are dedicated in this app. The sales and margin tracking app has a sales A4 report output, which has the summary. A little tip right here. You can see we're using a title object, and then we're using get field selections in the formula to basically give you that dynamic region name in the report. And then we also have the manager summary report. And we're doing the same thing for the sales manager title. So what you need to keep in mind is that click application automation and the report service connectors are going to simulate or apply selections to the sheets, to the field values to generate that report output that we're going to distribute. Okay, so now that you have that correlation between the ClickSense app, the visualizations, and the sheets, list values, in this case, connects to that app, and we're going to just get the values of the region field. And then for each value within the region field, we're going to perform some steps. So quickly, if I just jump over to the history, you can see that we have our field value pairs that come back from the output of the steps, USA, UK, Nordic, Spain, Germany, etc. So for each of those values, it's now going to generate this report. So the create report block, once again, we select the app that we're going to be getting the content from. We're giving it a name, sales and margin tracking, and then we're using the field value pairs, in this case, dynamically. It's going to give the report name with the region value and the date. And you can see that here actually in the Dropbox cloud storage. Now we're going to add a sheet, and in this case, sales A4 report output, which correlates back to this sheet. And now we're going to apply the selection to that sheet. That's going to be the field value for the field name region. And then we're also going to be selecting the field name manager region because we want to apply the manager for that region. So that selects that field value. And then we're going to use what's called get straight table data because in this case, we actually have the email addresses as part of this app. And this is just to simplify for demonstration purposes. But you can see we have a table that has the manager region, the manager name, and the email addresses associated with those managers. And we're using this just to simulate a distribution list. The nice part about utilizing the Click Cloud Services connectors is it can take advantage of any of the data in the app. So wherever that data is being pulled from within ClickSense, you can actually just now pull it together from the straight table data or any of the data elements that are available in the ClickSense app. So as you can see here from that app, from the sheet ID named manager region email master, we're pulling in that data from the object or the straight table. Now for each row, that it encounters in that straight table. Select the manager name and the field value. I would like you to now add a new sheet to the report. So if we go to click reporting, you can see add sheet to report, which is another click reporting service. So now it's gonna add the manager summary. This is how it's creating that multi-page PDF output. And the selection that we're gonna to add to the report is the manager. Now we're using this to create a list of email addresses that would be used within the two of the send mail block. So this is just basically appending variables to a string that we're going to use as output just for purposes of the demonstration. So it's going to grab those email addresses and create a list of email addresses for that manager in that region. And then the output block is just so you can visually see it. Here it's just going to write the email addresses so you can see the email addresses that would have been used if it was put in the send block. And then finally we generate that report and then we send that mail. 
Now for two, I'm just using a mock email address. We have our subject, we have our body, we have an attachment, which is the output of the generate report. And you can see we're just using that appended email list that is simulating if emails were sent to that individual. Now we're also writing the output to the report path. And then finally, we unlock the selections and clear out the variable list just for the next one. Okay, so let's check it out. So what we're gonna do, let's delete all of my reports in Dropbox. And let's delete all of the email. And let's execute this. Okay, so our task has completed and you can see that we have our six reports, Germany, Japan, Nordic, Spain, UK, and USA. We also have our six emails and you can see in the body of the email, the email addresses are different for the different regions. Again, just for demonstration purposes. Proving it is dynamically applying the selections and creating those reports and sending them to the appropriate email addresses. And the output block also shows you that information as well. Okay, thank you for your time, guys. I appreciate you sticking with me. This concludes the demonstration. I hope you found it helpful. You are now armed with the know-how to use ClickSense SaaS and Click Application Automation along with the new Click Reporting Service connectors to create multi-page report output distributed to multiple channels as part of your business processes. If you want to see more video content like this, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss the next one. Stay tuned at the end of this video for some additional videos to watch, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.